Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows, specifically on any version of Windows newer than Windows 7. So pretty much, just as the title of this video would suggest, if you're having any kind of troubleshooting issue with updating through Windows Update, this tutorial will address it. Now this is not going to be a one fix fits all kind of deal. There are specific error messages that you might be better off going out and searching up on your own. However, this tutorial will be just highlighting one troubleshooting tool in particular that is offered directly through Microsoft's own website. And it's part of their Fix It tool series, which I believe is now called Microsoft Easy Fix. So anyway, we're going to just jump right into it. So I actually have the web page already open in my Google Chrome web browser. I will put the link in the description of this video. So basically how to use Microsoft Easy Fix Solutions is the title of this page. And you want to scroll down towards the bottom where it says resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows. So you want to left click on that. And then it will begin downloading a file. And it shouldn't be too big. Once it's done you want to open it up. It doesn't really matter what web browser you use but you just want to make sure you open it up. So at this point we can minimize that of our web browser. So troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. This will give you a list of what it's going to be hopefully resolving issues with, all of which are related to Windows Update of course. So once you've just read through this list, you can actually view this advanced button here, which is, will give you control over whether or not to apply the repairs automatically, which it's set to do by default. You can deselect it if you chose to do so, however I will keep it check marked. So we're going to click next once you've just read through it. It shouldn't take too long. These happen to be pretty quick, so just be patient. And we can see there might be an issue found with administrator privileges. So let's try running it as an administrator if you have not done it already. So try selecting the first option there. And we're going to basically just run the tool again. It appears you're running it with standard local account privileges the first time, so maybe running it as an administrator will yield better results. So again, just be patient. Okay, so we can see the troubleshooter couldn't identify the problem. Like I said before, this might not work for all of you guys. I don't actually happen to be having an issue with Windows Update on this machine, so it's not really surprising. However, hopefully it should be a good first step for you guys. And I have made more specific videos for specific Windows Update errors, and you're more than welcome to check them out. But just for the purpose of this review, this is a good first step. That's kind of how I like to refer to it. So, I do hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.